Previously on Welcome to the Family. My first time. How do you feel now that you're about to drive away in your convertible smart car? So you're scared of your dad? Hell yeah! How many of you out there are scared of your dad? <laughs> he was adamantly against it. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. He had told me when I told him I was thinking about buying a smart car that he was adamantly against it simply because of the safety reasons. He just really didn't think it was a good idea. I went and bought it without telling him and then I had to call him and tell him that I'd already done it. I felt like I was 12 and about to be grounded. Hey dad, it's Val. I was just calling to say hi. And you're calling me back. Yay. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. One of the reasons I was calling was to let you know something. I can hardly hear you. Are you gonna let me know? I bought a smart car. You got a what? Smart car. Oh my god. Now you're scaring the s out of me. Now I gotta worry about you every time you drive. I'm sorry, you don't need to worry. Like when you rode a bicycle, kiddo. I know. But I really wanted it. You know I really wanted it. I understand that. And you got smacked on a bicycle. True. I absolutely did. Are you kidding me? Hey. 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 The smart car may not collapse. And the carton doesn't break, but the egg breaks when you drop it. But it's awfully cute, and it's a lot of fun, Dad. Hey. God. Hey. And the mileage isn't even that much better than yours. What are you talking about? It's 42 miles per gallon. The Malibu had 19. <laughs> it's cute, and it's a little convertible, Dad. It's really fun. Well, as long as you're happy, you better drive like like you're on a bicycle on the highway. I will, Dad, I promise. Hey, God. I was bitching at your sister for her Mini Cooper. I know. I wish you the best. And you must leave plenty of room between you and the car ahead of you. Otherwise, you'll get smashed like an accordion closer. Okay. I talk to you. <laughs> All right, Dad, I love you. I love you, okay. too. Bye. Bye. Like most things, it was worse in my head than it actually was. It ended up being fine. I mean, he's still not thrilled about it and makes little quips and comments every time I've seen him since then. But, you know, it's my decision and I did it. Swami Yogi Guru is coming Yogi Guru. It's not him though. <laughs> Easy team. Ouch. I like that one. You like, like this one? You gotta get dressed. I gotta get dressed. And then... I make it again. Alright. Starting with a shirt, yes? It's been interesting. For one, I look girly in this thing. The long hair helps make it look girly. And the long flowy Jesus dress makes it look flowy. Looking oh, pretty It's running uh, up the back. There it is. Oh. Pretty good. You have a bun there? <laughs> Sticklish. We've gone through a couple different pieces of clothing that we have. That is right. How do I put this on? Just like that. Swami came out hilarious, mostly due to credit of directing. Put these in his hand, like this, look. And the makeup. And editing, thank God, of this wise yet strange character. That flower is hilarious. Estée Lauder. What? Eye pencil. Eye pencil, that's what it is. Did I ever mention that my eyelashes are one of my erogenous zones? Am I turning you on? <laughs> See, women do turn you on. No! So Swami Yogi Guru, as you watch him progress <laughs> from the power quotes to the infomercial to whatever future projects we come up with, should be a fun journey for everybody to enjoy. And you can watch all this at www.boa.tv under the webisodes section. What's the line? I'm driving on my way to my hockey game tonight, playing in our local rec leagues. And then over the course of time, we've just, you know, gotten together and known each other a lot better as a team. And we've got to the point where we're playing in the championship game. Bert, Valerie, and LJ are going to meet me there and uh, root my team on to victory. And isn't that sweet? Channel 10 decided to cover my game tonight. Oh gosh, they're covering the game tonight. I don't think they're really coming to the game to cover it at all. We play in a parking lot. There's a rink in the parking lot. But it's always weird to tell people that our hockey rink is in a park parking lot next to a golf course. <laughs> That is the 
hockey rink where I play on a weekly basis. And currently during the weeks, apparently before our games, they have what's called roller derby or roller disco. Or, good God, I don't know what the sport is, but it's very weird looking. So that's the rink. That's what's going on before the game. Manly women skating around. Time to start getting ready. How does it feel to make a save? <laughs> It is fun. People, I think, think it's crazy to stand there and try and block a really fast-moving rubber disc. Nice! Follow it up, follow it up! I find it fun, and the pressure that comes along with it is something I welcome. Unless we have, like, a clear break, play the defensive side. Always movement going on. You always have to be very aware of what's happening because within a couple seconds, you know, the play can be 50 feet away or 10 feet in front of you. In the end, we ended up winning uh, the Killer Bees, the summer 2014 champs. Woohoo! Four years, four years, four years, four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. Awesome, awesome, this is an adult rec league, a beer league, if you will, that we play in, and since it is a beer league, it's only appropriate that the championship trophy is a keg. There you go. I give it a money. Yeah! And the real cool thing about this trophy is that it actually isn't just a blank keg, it actually has meaning and significance to it, because every champion gets their own little plaque with the team name and those players that contributed to the championship run, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's hot. It's a, I'm missing the snow. <laughs> hey! Thanks for coming out, hope you enjoyed. Congratulations. And, yeah, I don't know how you do it, dude. It's a little warm. I love it. I, I love uh, seeing Eric in his element. He's, uh, he's pretty damn good at it. It's a fast-paced game, so I like watching it anyways. So it's cool. Hey guys, this is Eric from Welcome to the Family. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey. <laughs> and don't forget also to share this video with your friends and family. Sorry. <laughs>